Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Edipath Class 10. In today's video lecture, we will cover a new chapter that is Periodic Classification of Elements. So let's begin with today's video. Do you know how many elements are now till date? At present, there are 118 elements known to us. All these elements have different properties and out of these, only 94 are naturally occurring. What was the need for classification? It makes study of elements easy and helps us in understanding the properties of the elements and their compounds. It helps us uh, to compare and differentiate the properties of elements and compounds from different groups. It helps to keep the elements with similar properties together. The first attempt to classify elements resulted in grouping them uh, into metals and non-metals. First one to classify was Dobinius Streit. He was a German chemist who uh, attempted to arrange the elements with similar properties into groups having three elements each. When three elements in a triad are arranged in the order of increasing atomic masses, the atomicity mass of the middle elements was roughly the average of atomic masses. What was the importance? This method is significant in predicting the atomic mass and properties of the middle element. And what was the limitation? He, t uh, he could only identify only three triads from the elements known at that time. Now came Newland's law of octaves. He stated uh, uh, he arranged the known elements in order of increasing atomic masses. He found that every eighth element has properties similar to that of first. He compared this to octaves found in music, therefore it was called the law of octaves. Advantages were that this law established a framework for classifying elements with comparable features. He was, first to, uh, uh, he was first to be based on the atomic weight that is linking element properties to atomic masses. Limitations applicable only up to calcium. Properties of new elements discovered did not fit into the law. Uh, elements in the same slot to, uh, he kept the elements in the same slot to fit elements in the table. Now come the Mendeleev's. He uh, was a Russian chemist. Um, he um, classified or arranged the um, table on the basis of their fundamental properties, atomic mass and similarity of chemical properties. When he started his work, 63 elements were known. And what did he do? He um, examined the relationship between the atomic masses of the elements and their physical and chemical properties. Why? Because oxygen and hydrogen are very reactive, they are readily found in form compounds with everyone. Second, formula of the hydrides and oxides formed by element but the treated as the basic properties of an element. You observe that elements with similar properties fall in the same vertical groups. Vertical groups were called groups and vertical columns were called groups and horizontal rows were called periods. The table contained 8 vertical columns and 6 horizontal rows. He predicted the atomic mass and properties of several elements. Mendeleev had to place an element with a slightly greater atomic, uh, atomic mass before an element with a slightly lower atomic mass. Noble gas was discovered much later after Mendeleev's periodic table. Limitation uh, He did not give any specific position of hydrogen. Position of isotopes were not defined and the wrong order of atomic masses of some elements could not be explained. Now come the modern periodic table given by Henry Moosley. Uh, it did away with the limitations of earlier model. Position of the H was also sorted. It, uh, this table has 18 columns known as groups and 7 horizontal rows known as periods. Divided into four S block, D block, P block, and F block. Features of group um, elements present in a group have same number of valence electrons. Number of shell increases as we go down the group. Elements of uh, periodic periods they contain same number of shells. The number of valence shell increases by one unit as the topic number as the uh, increases by one unit on moving from left to right. 
The number of electron elements in period is based on how electrons are filled into various shells. The period number, uh, in order to find the position of an element in the periodic table, first write its electronic configuration and then find period, period and group number from its electronic configuration. Valency. In a period, the valency of the elements increases from 1 to 4 and then decreases from 4 to 0 from left to right. In the group, the valency is same for all the elements of the group. The atomic size refers to the radius of the atom. The, it depends upon effective nuclear charge and number of shells. Atomic size increases down the group because new shells are being added as we go down the group. And atomic size decreases on moving from left to right due to an increment in nuclear charge which tends to pull the electron closer. Elements have a tendency to lose one or more elements and form positive ions are known as metals present on left side as well as the center of the periodic table also known as electropositive elements whereas uh, um, elements having a tendency to gain one or more element and form negative ions are called non-metals present on the right side of the periodic table and also called electronegative elements. The electronegativity of element increases along a period since the non-metallic character increases. Metalloids are elements which exhibit the property of both metals and non-metals. In modern periodic table, a zigzag line separates metals from non-metals. The borderline elements boron, silicon, germanium, arsenic, antimony, tellurium, and polonium are intermediate and they are called metalloids. Oxides of metals are basic while non-metals oxides are acidic. This means that a longer period the basic character of the oxides of the elements decreases while their acidic character increases. These are the homework questions for you. Thank you for watching my video. Please don't forget to like, share and comment my video.